Wow, that would have been a great experience for the newcomers. Yes, indeed. Didn't you hear their guest comments? They were so encouraging. No matter what happens, I am motivated to continue the Gavel Club. Every year, we participate in speech contests with many other clubs at various levels such as area and division. This year, Sandy Gavel Club took part in the contest and won the championship in the international speech category and the table topics category. We shall now listen to the champion of Division B in international speech competition. His speech title is Use It, Do Not Abuse It. He is currently studying at the British International School, Riyadh, in Grade 9. He is the champion of international speech contest for the year 2011-2012 in Division B. Welcome on stage, Send Gavel Club President, Competent Communicator, Gavalier Akil Imtiaz. We may go years, months, days, hours, minutes, and seconds. Yet it has neither a beginning nor an end. It is said to have no holidays, yet exists always. Honorable Chief Guest, Guest of Honor, Dignitaries, Toast Masters, Gavalies and Guests, a very good evening to you all. Yeah. How many of you think that if you got an MBA degree, you would have reached the top position in your company, but you did not have time to achieve it? How many of you Toastmasters want to achieve a CTM, an ATM, or a DTM, but lack time? How many of us miss extracurricular activities like Toastmasters because of no time? How many of us have used this phrase, struggle for time? Every day in my house, there goes the echo of my mother. <laughs> Akil, why do you always leave your homework till the very last minute? When you get it, finish it. Don't waste your time. And at the other end, my father, with his usual slogan, Time is money, my son. Oh, time is gold. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you believe time is money, or if you believe time is gold, here is a piece of gold. Give me five hours of time. I am sure the answer is no. We cannot buy time with money or with gold. So what is time? Time is more precious than gold. How many of us have been in situations when we say, I didn't finish my homework. I didn't do my project work, boss. I didn't study for the examination. So on and so forth. When a group of students studying for their doctoral degree complain about lack of time, clinical psychologist and academic coach, Miss Mary McKinney, illustrated in this way. Our life is like this empty jar. This jar represents the time space of our activities. Now, if we take a look at this jar, this jar represents the life of a person who cries for more time. The pebbles over here, if you can see it, represent the least important things in life. While the big rocks over here represent the most important things in life. This person is struggling because he's done the least important things first. But what if this person pauses for a while and does the most important things first? Well, a whole change occurs. 
No, he's giving priority to the most important things, such as education. Isn't education important, ladies and gentlemen? Profession. Without a profession, can we earn? Health. Our health is very important. Extracurricular activities, like Toastmasters. Family. Our family is very important. And this person can do some physical recreation for fitness, because he has space. And he can also visit his friends or have a refreshing vacation. But this does not stop there. He can also do the least important activities, which he loves doing, like surfing the web, going on the internet, browsing, music, Twitter. Look at the jar now, ladies and gentlemen. Was it full as before? No. By completing the most important things first, he has space for everything in his life. When we occupy our life with unnecessary activities, our life is very busy and hectic. And this is when our most important tasks get delayed to the very last minute. If we set our life like this job, our parents, our employers, they won't nag us or scold us to do our important tasks on time. Time is more precious than money. Because money lost in business or otherwise can be regained. But time lost will never return. We live in time. Grow in time, and ultimately, perish in time. We must realize the value of time in order to be successful, prosperous, and happy. Yesterday was history. Tomorrow, a mystery. Today is a gift. And that is why we call it the present. It is today, today, which is important in man's life. Ask a person who's missed his flight the value of an hour. Ask a Toastmaster who's not disqualified in the contest the value of a minute. Ask a sprinter who's lost the race the value of a second. Time and time waits for no man. One minute. One minute not usefully spent is an eternal loss. You can never regain the lost minute. As the famous proverb goes, one must strike the iron while it's hot. The time flies, but never returns. Use it, but do not abuse it. Over to you, my